fall is in the air somewhere. <laughs> and it landed on my plate. <laughs> y'all ready for some? Hello everyone, it is so good to see you here. I know y'all are excited to make some apple pie twist. It's a very easy recipe and not only apple pie twist, but we're going to be making a delicious caramel sauce that you can take those apple pie twists and dunk them in. Oh my goodness. Anybody can make this sauce. Okay, we got football season right around the corner. Also, fall. Ooh, we're marching right into it, right? And then we got the holidays right behind that. So why not? Perfect for all of that. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and let me show you how easy this is. I'm using a large sheet pan and I've got a silicone mat on it or you can use parchment paper. We're going to take one roll of crescent dough sheet or you can use the crescent rolls and we'll just pinch those together. Each can is eight ounces. We're going to roll this out. Okay, I'm just going to use a rolling pin and just kind of flatten it out. We're going to take one can of apple pie filling. Now it's pretty chunky in the can. Okay, you can see that the apples are sliced, so we need to really blend that up until we get a nice paste. This is a 21 ounce size can. We're gonna process these using a food processor. That way we can get a smooth consistency to spread on our crescent dough. Oh, it smells so good in there. We're gonna pulse the apples until we get a smooth, spreadable consistency. Perfect, oh, smells delicious in there. Let's take the blade off. All right, we're gonna bring our dough back over. We're gonna take our apple pie filling and now we're gonna spread it all over our crescent roll dough on the bottom sheet. You want a thin, smooth layer. So I just have that much left right there. We're going to take another crescent dough sheet. We're going to open it up, spread it out, and then we're going to lay it across the apples. Woo, y'all, if you would have saw my face just now, usually they don't pop open for me like that. I have to open them. <laughs> Wrong camera view for you people. You didn't get to see that. Okay, so I'm going to open it up, we're going to spread it out, lay it across. Nice and gentle, go all the way to the other end. Now I'm not sealing these up. What we're going to do now is cut these into strips. You know, you could either use a, like a pastry scraper. It can just go end to end like that. Or you can use a pizza cutter and just cut your strips that way. Or you can use a large sharp knife and then do that. So I'm gonna start in the middle and make my first cut. And then I'm going to go in the middle of the first half. That way you get even strips. And then just half those and then we're going to half those now what we're going to do is move one we're just going to move it over what you're going to do is start halfway you're just going to twist about three four times just to the center and let's lay it down and then you're going to take that side and do the same thing just like that now every other one i've been pulling off and putting it on another pan make sure you give them room to grow okay i have them all on the sheet pan here we have six on another sheet pan that way they can space out and be able to rise in the oven when they bake. 
What we're going to do now is brush a butter sugar mixture on the top of these and we're going to add a little cinnamon to it to give it some flavor. So I've got four tablespoons of butter that I've melted. To that I'm going to add one tablespoon of white granulated sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, then we're going to take our pastry brush. I'm just going to blend this together. Let's go ahead and brush our apple pie twist. That'll give these a nice golden color to them. Okay, I'm going to finish this one up here. I'm going to do the ones on the back, back behind me. We're going to place these in the oven that's been preheated at 375 degrees for about 8 to 11 minutes till these get nice and golden brown and the crescents are baked through. Don't forget we still have that caramel sauce to make. Okay, I've pulled my first batch of the apple pie twist out of the oven, so I'm just letting them rest. I've got the other pan in the oven. We're going to go ahead and make that delicious, easy caramel sauce. You want to start in a medium saucepan. We're going to add half a cup of butter and then we're going to add one cup of packed brown sugar. I'm just using a third cup. I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to put this over medium heat. We're going to stir and allow the butter to melt into the sugars. And you want to bring this to a boil. All right, once you start getting to a boil right on the edges here, just continue stirring for one to two minutes until the butter is finally melted and you don't hear the sugars scraping on the bottom of your pan. So it should start thickening, which is what we're looking for. When you start smelling that caramel, go ahead and turn it off. Okay, we're going to remove from the heat and then we're going to allow it to cool down a little bit. Okay, look at this caramel sauce. You can make it for easy ingredients, less than five minutes. Drizzle this over some ice cream, but we're going to be drizzling it over some apple pie twist. I plated them up. I cut these in half. That way they're the easy to pick up. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the caramel sauce. I'm going to take a bite for you. Mm. Fall is in the air somewhere <laughs> and it landed on my plate. <laughs> Y'all ready for some? Mm. How delicious is that? Oh my gosh, the apples in there, the cinnamon, mm, that caramel sauce. Y'all got to make that caramel sauce. Wow, that's delicious. These are very light. Now, I've made something similar to this using pumpkin pie mix. Go check that out. I'll link it down below if you want to check that one out. That one was a good one also. All right. <laughs> You know, I got a lot of people here ready to finish these off. All right, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mmm. Tastes like an apple pie.